Hello everyone, it's Kay here. I'm doing this for the second time. I don't know what on earth happened the first time round. But anyway, I'll try and do what I did before, but it's very difficult. But I'm here to talk about Highly Strung, which is a bead shop I found in Burnham-on-Sea, which is about half an hour away from Taunton, I would guess. It's a little village, not probably a village really, it's a bit larger than a village, but anyway, this lovely bead shop is to be found in one of the side streets from the main promenade of the um, beach area. And I found it for the first time today. It has been open for some time. Um, looking at the site which I've just joined, I think it's probably been around since December, either last year or this year. I'm, I, I'm a bit vague, I am sorry. But anyway, it is an absolute delight. I've picked up some bargains which I'm thoroughly, thoroughly delighted with. Got a couple of patterns which have been put away securely because by virtue of them being given with the beads that you buy they are copyrighted and you are asked exclusively not to teach the pattern or to sell the pattern on which is fair comment design work is not easy for anyone so I'm quite happy to abide by those rules but by the time I have made them up I will come back and show you because I'm absolutely delighted with what I've found. The shop is really about seed beads, check, um, check beads, all the different variations, all the different shapes, tealer beads, seed beads, these glorious dagger beads which I found and they really are such a bargain. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Look at this blue iris. The purple marble effect, then there's this lustered opaque amethyst colour, all colours that I absolutely adore in the main run and see stream of things. And I also found these lovely, some people call them rivalies, some people call them chaton, and it is a shaped bead when you turn them over. They've got the silver backing on them and what that does then is cast out the beautiful cut and shape within the sparkly bit of the bead. I've got a couple of purples, I've got that lovely pink, this gorgeous midnight blue and this is a very overcast day in Taunton so to actually be able to see the sparkle and shimmer in these in this light is is something else they are ideal to use as focal points in pendants or to put a bezel edge on which is just a, a crowning if you like around the piece and it, it, it well they're just absolutely superb and the shop has such an array of different sizes different colors at very very reasonable prices I have bought this little bit today but I will go back again I'm thoroughly delighted with what I've found I also got some bargains which also always makes the heart pity pat a bit bit more doesn't it I found these beautiful Mayuki cubes so they are tiny but ideal for loom work or for use on making Russian spirals as features and these lovely little beads were only a pound a pot. Disregard the price that you're seeing there. I think they're probably 7.5 or 11 gram tubes. I'm no good at weight and it isn't actually written on the little pots here but the pots are absolutely jam-packed full, full as you can see. There's a lovely array of colours and these, as I say, were in the bargain um, area. So, I, I, well, I just had to have them, didn't I? What's a girl to do? You can't walk past a bargain. They were really, really gorgeous. I haven't got all the colours by any means, but it seems, you know, this might well be a feature of the shop as beads come and go because there is constantly 
a new wealth of beads available. I would imagine anything that is left behind gets put on a promotion plate and sold off and I'm very very happy with that. I also purchased these lovely lovely half teela beads. These are very much on vogue at the moment. Beautiful beautiful colours. I don't know if the camera is picking up the luster on these. Uh, this is opaque salmon pink and this is antique ivory. I spied a pattern that I simply had to have and just bought the beads whilst I was there to make up the patterns. That was part and parcel of, of securing the pattern which I think is a lovely, lovely idea. The shop was full of inspiration full of ideas, the staff were absolutely helpful and patient and there was a beautiful layout to the store whereby even as someone who's partially disabled I was able to get around the store, see everything by virtue of looking on the walls or in special dishes on the sides of the store and was asked repeatedly if there was anything I needed help with or whether I'd found everything that I wanted and indeed I had. The other bargain that I found were these sharp edge triangle beads. Now these I use quite a bit um, to make the Jill Wiseman slinky bracelet. I've also done a couple of necklaces and it used a focal centerpiece to them and these two were in a bargain basement area, all of their very own, and I secured these for a pound, a pound a pot, which you really can't quibble at because being relatively new on the market, these are quite expensive. I've bought quite a few and wasn't prepared to leave these where they sat, and this was a buy three, get one free, so I was absolutely delighted with that. And then there were a lot, a lot of findings in the store. These particularly caught my eye. They have been burnished in some way to give that textured look to the plate, which the camera is just about picking up. Absolutely delightful, a very reasonable price. Um, and this by no means covers what was available in the store. It's just what I picked up today. I will be going back. There is an online store. The opening times are all clearly visible here. And like I say, you can purchase as required just by signing up for a little account of your own. They do accept PayPal payment um, and the opening times are there. So if you were to be down in this neck of the woods and fancied looking into a bead shop because it was one of your favourite pastimes, then I would strongly recommend that you didn't give this a miss because it was really such a lovely thing. I had had a recommendation from one of my friends who does a lot of le bead loom work um, and unfortunately this is the only shop in the area that caters for people like me who like to work with seed beads and seed bead patterns so I was absolutely delighted to stumble across it and will be going back again so do feel free to check it out at www highlystrongbeads.co.uk and see what you think of it yourself. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. Postage and packaging is very, very reasonable, I have to say at this point. Having just been on the site and checked it out, I can't recommend it highly enough. So thank you for sharing this time with me. I hope you follow this lead and go and check out Highly Strung, which is just a fabulous name. It tickled me when I saw it. I thought that is one clever, clever lady. However, I will leave this with you and wish you happy shopping. Take care everyone. Happy crafting. Bye bye for now.